Okay, so I've got the extension cord connected up to it, and let's see what it will do. Oh, and it, I was wondering why there were different um, wires on here. It appears to have uh, motor braking as well. See? If I just release the switch a little bit, it'll coast to a stop. But releasing the switch all the way, we get that. Um, I may want to disable that, I don't know. Because that's probably not good on the motor like that. But anyway, all that probably is, is a... Um, it just... Um, when you release the switch, it probably um, shorts out the wires coming from the motor and being as this is a DC permanent magnet motor it's acting as a generator as it's spinning down so all it would do is um, a short circuit would cause it to stop like that but anyway there we go that works so we're gonna have to pull that apart and um, pull the engine off of that and why I'm not really messing around with the engine on that anymore is because the um, well for one thing the thing was full of water when I got it the engine crankcase um, the <clears throat> flywheel pulley is or the flywheel bolt is seized um, just from sitting outside the flywheel is actually missing some fins that broke off when I was trying to get the actually it's just missing one fin um, that broke off when I was trying to get it to loosen up um, and the oil drain plug is seized so that's not worth messing with anymore um, but anyway so we we'll get to tearing these things apart and see what we can do with them. Thanks for watching.